Yes, Steve. Hi, uh, I know this is an electrical engineering audience, and I'm an electrical engineer too, but one of the most iconic things about Atari was the dome switch joystick. Uh -huh. And I'm George wondering where that came from, because obviously it's a long-lived brilliant design. Uh, that was that was I tried to stop it uh, <laughs> we had we had a, a very interesting packaging engineer we were long on electrical engineering and pretty weak in packaging and especially when it came time to do the consumer pong uh, we had nothing and I had totally underestimated I thought the chip was going to be the hard thing it turns out that plastic tooling case took longer and cost more money but I found out the hard way and did it but George Farrakko was a very creative, might I say, too creative guy. And, and he really had this vision for these pink dome-like structures <laughs> of uh, celastic plastic on that. That's what he wanted. We made a few games that way. Um, yeah, but I don't know. Why did we stop making them, Nolan? Tell me. <laughs> well, I, I think that we discovered that somehow joysticks were better than joy boobs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like something wrong, yeah. yeah and, and, okay. and it seems wrong because it, well, anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Six years later, um, we did an exhibit in France, and we had translate our material uh, from English to French. And this was during the Decal period, and they didn't want this most beautiful language corrupted by Americanisms. So we translated to that to Le Baton de Plaisir. It <laughs> 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 became the <Le> joystick. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> That's funny. All right, we have a question back here. Um, oh, 